it is important for us to understand the importance of all in society. The fact that I have worked with Marvin for the past 30 years is of fundamental importance for us in our society. While I accept this present, this reconnaissance, I must also signal the importance of the Black Coalition in promoting equal justice. The, the, the Prime Minister of Quebec is saying there is no racial discrimination in society. He spoke about systematic discrimination. These things, when it happens, it shows the ignorance of even people who are holding the, 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 the society and responsible for justice for all. In this case, I hope the, the community will address the Prime Minister and tell him this is unacceptable. I was standing over many, many years in promoting human rights and social justice, but now I find myself in a wheelchair, <laughs> cannot move. However, the circle of life continues. Uh, we must say lastly that when you look at justice, it's a circle and it entails all of us. I cannot thank you more than plain being here for this pro for this moment. Thank you very much. Thank you. In Israel would take place as it did on Saturday with terrorists shooting 5,000 missiles at civilian targets in Israel and people infiltrating the border to kill civilians, including children, even babies. It's horrible beyond belief and it's happened and there's a horrible war. Our thoughts today are with the state of Israel and the Jewish people and we hope they will be safe from harm. Dan was always a voice who was ready to reach out and provide the leadership to build that collaboration between Jews and blacks in the city of Montreal and in Quebec. Nobody else started this, he started it. He was ahead of the Jewish leaders. He reached out to the Jewish leaders and said, we got to work together and we have. We wanted to make sure that we recognize Dan's leadership. And it really is an honor to pay, to pay homage, to, to pay tribute to, um, to Dan Phillip, a man whose life, as you all know, has been dedicating to building a more inclusive and harmonious society. I always say it's one thing to promote diversity, but inclusion and creating a sense of belonging uh, and confidence in the communities we live in is a whole other matter that requires hard work and enlightened public policies. Whether it was your 40 years leading the Black Coalition of Quebec or the countless ways in which you continue to serve this community, Dan Phillips has set a remarkable example of what it means to fight for human rights and racial justice. And I think such a tremendous role model for our community and role models matter. I know my long time uh, <laughs>and I'm very proud to be here today because Dan Philippe 
is a very big personage in the history. Now we are part of history because Don Philippe is made uh, main thing for community. He has uh, more importance in the life of many people. Uh, Don Philippe has been present more 50 years for black community and for Jew Jewish community. This is uh, very extraordinary. I'm very proud and uh, I don't have the words, but this is very uh, important. This is a very uh, extraordinary for me to be here today. I love this man. I love his legacy, and I have the shoes now. <laughs> Thanks. Merci, Max Stanley. Voulez-vous dire quelques mots en français? First of all, I want to, before I proceed, I want to thank Marvin Rothman, who um, continues to fight uh, for the recognition of those who fought for um, the, the rights and justice of those in our community, like um, uh, our honoree today. And we really appreciate it. I want to thank you very much you. for what uh, the honor you bestowed on Mr. Dan Phillips. Um, on behalf of uh, myself, the president, I've uh, been the president of Jamaica Association for the last four years, our vice president, Sharon Nelson, here, and our entire board. Um, it's really an honor and pleasure for us to be here today to, um, to see this recognition of a great man um, in our community. Um, as far as the Jamaica Association is concerned, Mr. Dan Phillips worked along with our former stalwart, Mr. Noel Alexander, for many, many years to fight against. Um, uh, the injustices and racial profiling of many young blacks in our community. And his name is actually legendary. It invokes, um, when we say the name Dan Phillips in the English black community, uh, it really invokes pride, um, courage, um, and, and, and the strength of the struggle um, of, of, of the, 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 our people have gone through in the city to where we are today. And these are, these are very important because it's not just for the work you've done, sir, for uh, the past community, but for the future, to see in history the recognition uh, that they can have something to know that they were built on strong shoulders like yourself. And so we want to thank you very much. We honor you, sir, for the work um, that you've committed and the sacrifice. I know doing community work and fighting for this type of um, endeavor requires a lot of sacrifice, personal, family, um, uh, 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 and, and other sacrifices that needs to be made. And on behalf of the Jamaica Association, we thank you, sir, for your work, for your courage, your commitment. And um, when we, we say we thank you, we really thank you because we know for the future um, black community and Jamaican community, uh, part of your struggle and work was what added to that. And as an honor, we brought a Jamaica Day T-shirt for you. Um, <laughs> Madam First Vice President wanted to do some flowers, but I said the flowers will die by tomorrow and next day. <laughs> but at least you'll see this T-shirt. It's a small token, but we thank you very much for your work. And may God continue to bless you and keep you and preserve you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Before you sit down, Mark Henry, we're going to do the plaque ceremony. I would ask Miss McGraw, Mr. Henry, Monsieur Bazin. Uh, the leaders of other community groups, Madame Wade, Mr. Bayless, Madame Mazzoni from the Filipino Federation of, of Federation Filipino Canadian Association of Quebec, and I hope I'm not miss, uh, Mr. Wilson from Cornucopia. I hope I'm not missing any other of the community group leadership. All come up here, and I'm going to give this plaque to Mr. Philip. Let's get a little closer to Dan. I'm going to read the plaque. The plaque reads, Certificate de reconnaissance, Dan Philip, présenté par Benet Brith Canada à Dan Philip pour avoir promu l'amitié et la solidarité entre les communautés noires et juifs, juifs et pour nous, pour avoir combattu l'antisémitisme pendant son mandat de présidence de la Coalition noire du Québec.